One evening, during everything that had happened from the following day, Lucifer woke up and was not feeling good at all. He suddenly ran into the bathroom and started throwing up. Pretty bad, too. Lilith woke up and was like, huh? Oh, Lucy? He got up and went into the bathroom to see if he was okay. But no, he was very sick. Oh, my love. It's okay. Finally, he stopped throwing up and she helped him up and gets them all cleaned up. And she noticed some poison Ivy had touched him previously from when he went to go find Charlie. Lilith wasn't really too happy about it, to be exact, but she knew her husband would do anything to protect their little duckling. Oh, my love, I'm so sorry you're not feeling good, but you're running a fever. Uh, I honestly don't feel good, Lilith. To be honest. Alright, now let's get some cream and get you all cleaned up and get you back to bed, okay? But she was the worst, Charlie. She got her room asleep, love. Why? She's gonna wake up any minute. I realize something wrong with me. Oh, right, right. Love to protect her father. True. You should know this by now. I mean, I do. But, just don't worry about that at the moment. Well, she put the cream on his arm when the boy even Ivy had touched him. And suddenly it started to go away. Alright. Now, this is probably not going to taste very good. And I know this for a fact. And you can be very stubborn, my love. But, um, you need to take some medicine. No. No, no, no. Uh-uh. I'm not. No. I knew I have to. Come on, Lucy. For me? No. Don't make me get Charlie. Uh, I don't want to take it. Uh. Finally, little Charlie walked in the room because she heard her father being a bit difficult. What's going on, Mama? Oh, hello, my child. Come here. Well, she little picked up her little girl and held her in her arms. Your father is being very stubborn and he won't take his medicine to make him feel better. But Papa, you gotta take the medicine. It's gonna make you feel better. That's what you always told me. Fine, fine, I'll take it. I'm not gonna like it. Be a good boy and take the medicine for me, please, Daddy. <laughs> Anything for you, my little darling. <sighs> well, Lucifer does the medicine. Like a champ, as usual. And Lilith got him all tucked in, and Charlie sat next to him. And put the towel that her mom gave her on his forehead. Charlie, I don't want you to get sick again, my love. I won't, Daddy. I'm already feeling better from last time. If you say so, Dad, then you should really get some sleep. Yeah, but I gotta take care of you. Ain't that what you always tell me? <laughs> yes, baby, but I'd rather you get your rest instead of staying up all night. Your father's right there. I'll take you back to bed and leave your father alone. You can check on him in a few hours. Okay? Okay, Mama. Night, Daddy. I love you. <laughs> Good night, Charlie, and I love you too, my little duckling.
Well, she blew her father a kiss. And because she wasn't allowed to touch him. At the moment, because her mom didn't want her to get sick, which was totally understandable. Lewis took Charlie down back to her room. And sat in a rocking chair and rocked her back to sleep. And at this point, she was still five years old. As Charlie fell asleep in her mother's arms, Lois got up and put her in her bed with Razzle and Dazzle and tucked her in and kissed her gently on the forehead and said, Good night, good night, my little duckling. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> my sweet little princess. Good night, mama. In the morning, Charlie drifted off into a deep slumber. The next morning, Charlie got up right as her mom walked into the bedroom. Uh, Mama? <laughs> Hello, my little one. You want to come see your father? Yes, please. All right, come on. She picked up little Charlie and carried her in her arms all the way up back up to her to the room. Lucifer was feeling a little better than what he was in the middle of the night. He started to get his energy back slowly but surely. Charlie climbed up on the bed and walked to and crawled to her father. Daddy? You feeling better? <laughs> yes. I'm feeling a little better than what I did. Well, that's good. Sorry you got sick because of me. Oh, baby, it's not your fault. Sometimes things happen when we don't expect to. Yeah, but I never would have ran off. This never would have happened. It's okay, dear. Just know that me and your mother love you very much. We wouldn't know what to do if something would have happened to you, my love. I know, Papa. I love you both. <laughs> and we love you, dear. We love you very much, just as your father said. Well, little Charlie went downstairs with her mother to let her dad rest a little more. As I made him some soup, and whatnot, and they took it back upstairs to him and fed him. Little Charlie was playing with Razzle and Dazzle on the floor as Lilith was taking care of Lucifer. Charlie was still a bit paranoid and worried about her father, which was quite normal for a young child. But she knew that he would get better. And soon enough he would, to the point they would be able to go play outside and have fun. But she felt really bad for what had happened to him. So she decided to go back to her room with Bravo and Dazzle and do her father a picture. A few hours later, Lucifer was up running around and feeling so much better than what he was. It seemed to be a 24-hour sickness at what he had, especially from the poison ivy. But he was back to his normal self. Well, Lilith was in Charlie's room because Charlie was crying. <laughs> because one of her favorite stuffed animals was ripped. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, me you would have Oh, 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 Okay, my dear. I let Lucifer walk by the room and notice and heard his daughter crying and walked in. Oh, what's going on with my little duckling? Suddenly, Charlie looked up and noticed her father out of bed, fully dressed and ready for the day. Papa, aren't you supposed to be in bed resting? Yeah, dear, but I feel so much better now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Finally, she cried again. 
Lilith was holding her little duckling while well, her little baby girl in her arms. And she looked at Lucifer and was like, her favorite stuffed animal is red. Look. Lucifer noticed it and walked over to it and used his powers to make it all better. And gave it to his daughter. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Anything for you, my little duckling. You fixed him! You fixed Mr. Duckling! <laughs> of course I did, my love. I would do anything for you. <laughs> oh, Charlie, what's wrong, baby? I'm sorry, you got sick. <laughs> hey, baby. Lois stood up next to Lucifer and handed him his little girl. Hey, it's not your fault, my dear. Things happen for a reason. But I'm just glad you're safe and sound. But everything's gonna be alright. I'm all better now, Charlie. Little Charlie buried her head in her father's shoulder as she continued crying. Oh, baby, it's gonna be okay. I'm all better now. I promise you, my love. Oh. Well, Lilith, Lucifer, and Charlie held each other close together. And as the two, as Lucifer and Lilith were trying to comfort their daughter, to show her that everything was gonna be okay, that things happened for a reason. And sometimes we can't control what happens. She started to feel better. 